Hello, my name is Sally Pinto, and I'm the program director for the Yonkers NORC Neighborhood Naturally Occurring Retirement Community. We serve seniors 60 plus in Northeast Yonkers. We are under the auspices of WJCS and the Yonkers Office for the Aging. We also have a resource specialist and a nurse on staff. We conduct virtual programming when partnership with the Yonkers Public Library on a daily basis. Enjoy the program. So we'll move through, it's slow flow because we're gonna flow. There's some movements, um, but we're gonna move really slowly. Um, so and it's not going to be like a faster paced class, but it's really going to be like tuning into whatever is going on in your body tonight. And we'll spend the last part of class two kind of in that like restorative, more of like a yin style space um, to like prepare to sleep. So hopefully you sleep well tonight, um, whether you're going to go to sleep right after class or in hours from now, which I approve of either. <laughs> um, so we're going to start seated today. So you can always prop yourself up on something to sit. You can always roll up your mat or sit on a blanket. I'm just gonna be on the floor behind me. I don't put my mat down because my puppy over here sometimes likes to eat it. So I just remove it so she can't get to it. <clears throat> so you'll just start to find a comfortable seated position. And if it feels okay, you can go ahead and cross your legs. And if you've taken class with me before, you've heard me say this a lot. When we get there, you can kind of just wiggle and move around a bit for just like settling in and just starting to tune in and check in with what's going on in the body. Maybe you haven't sat in this position in a while. Maybe it's similar to how you've been sitting all day. Maybe it's different. And then just starting to find a place where your body can begin to settle. You're welcome to close the eyes. We're just keeping the gaze soft. Feeling the shoulders fall away from the ears. Releasing the jaw. beginning to check in with your body. Just begin to notice and observe how you're feeling in your body and your breath tonight. bringing that awareness in. So removing any judgment, it's just about creating that awareness. you're starting to deepen through the breath a little bit and sometimes that deepening comes from just observing the inhales and the exhales Let's take a couple more rounds of breath here. <laughs> we'll take the inhales and the exhales in and out of the nose. 
where you can always take your inhales in through the nose and out through the mouth. All I really care that you care about here is just allowing the breath to be more intentional. And that intention will help your breath decide where it needs to be. Let's just find one more here. <laughs> Welcome to keep the eyes closed, but then just let your fingertips come by your side. Let the fingertips tap the floor. They might just float and just start to reach the arms all the way up to the sky. So as you reach the arms up, feel like your spine is growing taller and longer. And then on your exhale, release the arms all the way down. Inhale to reach the arms all the way up. And exhale to release the arms all the way down. We're going to add a twist here. So inhale to reach the arms all the way up. And on your exhale, take a twist over to the right. So that use that right hand as a kickstand behind your low back. And you can keep your left hand reaching towards the right leg or it can rest somewhere on the thigh or the calf. <clears throat> Noticing as you inhale, the crown of the head reaching to the sky. And on your exhale, opening up the heart just a little bit more. Every inhale, feel yourself grow taller. Every exhale, feel your heart open up. Your gaze can stay neutral or you can start to bring your gaze over the right shoulder. Just two more breaths here. And inhale, reach the arms all the way up to the sky, stretch it tall and long. And on your exhale, twist over to the left side. Use that left hand as a kickstand. Every inhale, feel the spine grow taller. Every exhale, feel the heart open up. Play with where your gaze is. Maybe it starts to come over your left shoulder. Just a couple more breaths here. Inhale to reach the arms all the way up. We're actually going to take that twist back over to the right as you exhale. Twist back to the right. Don't get too comfy though because you're going to inhale. Come all the way back to the center. And exhale. Twist to the left. So we'll do each side two more times. So as you inhale, come back to the middle. And as you exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, twist to the left. One more. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, reach the arms all the way back to center and exhale your arms all the way down. Let's roll out your shoulders. 
can take your legs out in front of you. They've been crossed for a while and just kind of shake them out. And let's keep our legs out and we'll keep them out a little wide. And then just start to point and flex the feet. So just waking up the joints of your feet. As the weather gets nicer, you might be outside more, which might mean you're walking more, and your feet might be a little bit tired or more achy. So just kind of always allowing that movement to come back into the feet. Just kind of help keep everything flowing. And then just start to relax the legs. So you don't need to flex the feet here. And just begin to walk your hands forward. It doesn't matter how far forward they go. Hinging a little bit at the hips. When you get to a point almost like you can't go any further, you can begin to drop the head and round the spine. That's just an option. If you like that lengthening, you can keep the lengthening. Gonna hold for too long, just a couple of more breaths here. Just one more breath. And start to walk your, lit, your upper body all the way back in. You can just gently place your hands behind you and start to bend the knees. And then just find a little rock of the knees from side to side, like they're windshield wipers. We're going to start to change um, positions and come into a tabletop position. So coming onto your hands and your knees. So if at any point being on your hands, if you've got anything going on with your hands, it's too much. You can slide like roll a blanket or roll up your mat to go underneath the heels of the hands. Or you can always drop onto your forearms. But I want you to just focus on that zipping up through the midline so you have a little subtle engagement through the core. And just begin to move through some cat cow. So start to drop the belly, take your gaze forward. Almost feel like you're trying to just bring all of the vertebra of the spine towards each other. And then begin to round the spine, press the floor away. Feel the shoulder blades pull apart. Inhale to drop your belly, look forward. Exhale to round the spine. Couple more rounds. Inhale to look forward. And exhale to round. One more. Inhale to look forward. And exhale to round. Come back into a neutral spine and bring your toes together and your knees wide and start to sink your hips back to your heels. You can release the upper body down and just start to walk your hands over to the right. You're just adding a little bit of that side body stretch here.
can walk your hands back to the middle and over to the other side. Walk your hands all the way back to the middle. Take a full breath here. <laughs> and then start to pull yourself back into your tabletop position. <laughs> Extend your right leg back. Keep the toes curled under so they're hooked onto the floor. And then just start to press the heel back. So feel as if your goal, your target here is to try to stretch the calf to the back of the leg right below the knee. And then begin to lift the leg up hip height. So playing a little bit more with balance here. So really strong through the back of the leg. Feel the glutes, feel the hamstring, feel everything in the back part of the leg engage and activate. And then start to bring your knee in towards your nose, round the spine. So come towards that cat stretch as you press the floor away. And then extend the leg all the way back out behind you. So bring the knee into the nose, round the spine, feel that lift through the belly and kick it all the way back. We're gonna do that just one more time. Bring the knee in. And then kick it all the way back. And release the knee onto the floor. Any movement you need between sides. And then extend your left leg back. So toes will stay on the ground to start. And just start to press the heel back. Remember, you're targeting trying to get, like you're trying to stretch the calf. Start to lift the leg up hip height. So notice where your weight wants to shift. And can you try to hug everything back to the middle? And start to bring your knee in towards your nose, round the spine, press the floor away. And kick the leg all the way back. Bring the knee into the nose and kick it all the way back. One more, knee to the nose, and kick it all the way back, and release the knee onto the ground. Shift your hips back into that child's pose. One more breath here. And 
and then start to pull yourself back to that table. This time you're going to keep pulling yourself forward so you can roll all the way onto the ground onto your belly. You can make a pillow with your hands when you first get there. We're just going to pause for a moment in this new position. You might even feel and focus on your belly pressing away from the ground, filling and falling with your inhales and exhales. start to prop yourself up onto your forearms. So your elbows are going to be underneath your shoulders and feel your heart pulling forward. Get a nice gentle back bend here. Just one more breath. And release the upper body, release the forehead down and start to walk your hands back by your rib cage. Hug the elbows in, squeeze the shoulder blades together and start to lift your head and your heart up off of the floor. And then release everything down. We're gonna go two more of those baby cobras. Really feel each back muscle engage and activate as your heart lifts. So hug the elbows in and then start to lift your head and your heart. Light on the hands so your muscles are doing the work. And release the forehead down. And then lift the head and the heart. and lower all the way down. Press yourself up and back towards your tabletop. Just like we did before, let's take a couple of cat cows here. So round the spine, press the floor away. And then drop the belly, look a little forward. Just one more. Round the spine. And then drop the belly. Come back to a neutral spine. Feeling that zip up through the midline. Extend your right leg back just like we did before. Lift the leg up, hip height. Notice the weight shift. Can you bring it back to the middle? And start to bring your right knee over to the right side, but this time you're going to place the foot on the outside of the right hand. So if it doesn't get up there in one step, that's totally fine. Just bring yourself up and adjust. So at first, you're going to start with the knees wide. So my arm is actually on the inside of my foot here. And I'm going to try to let the hips get a little heavy. So I'm going to feel my hips shift forward. I want to try to keep my gaze a little bit forward or just my neck in neutral. And then I'll start to heel toe my foot towards the middle. So I can bring my right arm on the outside of the right foot and then begin to walk my hands up the right leg. So I can rest my hands on top of my right thigh. Or I can bring my hands to my hips. As I still want to feel as if I'm trying to 
press my hips forward. See if you can play with your gaze because you actually are in a little bit of balance here. So notice if you start to get a little wobbly and reach the arms up to the sky if it feels okay. And allow the right hand to drop towards the right side and reach a little bit through the left side. So you might just reach straight up or you might reach straight up and a little bit over. And you can even let your right hand rest on your thigh for a little bit more support. Make sure you have extra padding underneath that back knee if the floor feels a little hard. Just one more breath. Come all the way back to the middle, reach the arms up. Bring the hands down and slide your right knee back to meet your left. Before we come into the second side, let's go ahead and find a child's pose. One more breath here. Then start to bring yourself all the way back up to your table. Extend your left leg back. Lift the leg up hip height. Remember, we're not here too long because right away we're going to bring the knee over to the left arm and step the foot on the outside of the left hand. So it doesn't matter how many steps that takes to get there. But I want to feel like I'm in more of a lizard pose, so I just have a wider stance. My hands are on the inside of the leg. I'm getting a little heavier in the hips. Let me then shift a little bit more forward. And start to walk your foot a little bit more towards the middle so you can bring your left arm on the outside of your left leg and walk your hands up the left leg. When you're landing in this low lunge and your sides are going to feel totally different. So really find that rooting in the front foot. And allow your arms to reach up to the sky. Again, this is all option. You can stay where you're at or add on. You can play a little bit. And then let your left hand drop towards the left side. So it's just coming right by the hip. And I'm reaching up 
and maybe a little bit over to the left with my right arm. I can always let my left hand rest on my left leg for a little extra support. Come all the way back, bring the knee, the hands back to the ground. And then bring your left knee back to meet your right. And let's once again find that child's pose. One more breath here. And nice and slow, start to bring yourself back to your tabletop position. Curl both toes under, both feet under. So that way you can lift the knees up off the ground and press your hips up and back into a downward dog like you're an upside down V. If the sensation of the heart above the head is too much, you can always stay in that tabletop position. And then just start to walk your hands and feet towards each other. So you might land more towards the middle of your mat or the back of your mat or the front of your mat. Just landing in this forward fold position. And bring your hands up to your shins and the tops of the knees and start to take your gaze a little forward. Feel the front of your head reach forward. Really root down into the feet and rise all the way up to stand. And let's reach our arms all the way up to the sky. Stretch it really tall and long. And release the arms down. Roll the shoulders back. And then roll them forward. And release the fingertips. Let the arms get nice and heavy here. And you can keep your feet a little wide. So they can be about like hip width apart. Just making sure that they find a place where they can be rooted. And just start to bend into your knees like you're sitting in a chair behind you, but there's not actually a chair there, so you don't want to let go at any point. And you can keep your hands on your hips as you start to come down. And then you might continue to sink the hips even lower. You might bring your hands to your heart center and sink the hips even lower. Just 
So focusing on your breath. Maybe sink the hips lower one more time. One more breath. And then press into the feet. Reach the arms all the way up to the sky. Reach your arms tall. You can interlace your hands, turn the palms to the ceiling, and lean over to the right side. Come back to the middle and lean over to the left. Come back to the middle, release the arms. Roll the shoulders. And come all the way to sit down. I'm not gonna take you there any fancy way, I just want you to sit. And so just like the last thing we did when we were sitting, we're gonna take our legs wide right away. Except this time we're gonna bend our left leg and bring the inside of the left foot onto the inside of the right leg. It doesn't matter how wide your right leg is. And just start to reach your arm straight up to the sky. So feel your torso square towards the front of your space. And then rotate your body over the right leg. So this is where you may or may not adjust where that leg is at. Because if it's really wide, you have to twist a lot. And then start to reach the hands towards the foot. It doesn't matter if you ever find the foot. Your hands can rest on the ground or the leg, or if you have a pillow or something in your body, you can place it on there. But I want you to see if you can release the foot. So you don't need to flex it. See if you can almost feel as if the muscle is melting away from the bones a little bit. And just start to release the head. Continuing to tune in with your breath. You're going to keep that lean forward, except this time you're going to walk your hands towards the middle and then over to the left leg, but your legs are staying where they're at. We're just changing where the upper body is at. So the sensations from side to side likely feel a little different, even though you just walk your hands a couple of feet in different directions.
walk your hands all the way back to the middle. And then slowly start to lift your upper body up. If you need to shake anything out, go ahead. And then we'll come into the other side. So just straighten the left leg and then the right leg. I forgot to offer this on the other side, but you can always add like a pillow underneath your um, right leg. I'm like, what leg is this? <laughs> you can always add a pillow underneath your right leg or even behind the straight leg, the knee. If it feels like there's like too much of a stretch, if there's like a pulling sensation, feel free to um, add a little extra support there too. So we want to stretch, but we want to find a safe stretch. So reach the arms all the way up. Twist your upper body towards your straight leg. And then reach the hands to the foot. It doesn't matter if they find the foot. And then you can just let the hands relax. Let the foot relax. Start to walk your hands back to the middle. So now you're just reaching forward, but your legs are staying the same. And then you'll continue that all the way over to the left, the uh, right side. Walk your hands all the way back to the middle. Bring your upper body all the way up. And take your legs out or bring them both in and shake them out. We'll take one more shape seated here before we find our way onto our backs for a little more restorative. 
And you can start to bring the soles of the feet together. So think butterfly legs. You can place anything you'd like underneath the knees or the thighs or the calves and the shins. Doesn't matter how close your feet are toward, towards you or how far away they are. And you can stay more upright or you can hinge a little forward at the hips. And you might, if you're not sure where you wanna go, just start to play really slowly with staying where you are and just leaning a little forward, maybe just kind of rocking out a little bit. Your body will tell you where it needs to hold tonight. Even though you're using your hands to lightly hold you up, can you try to relax the hands a little bit? couple of breaths here. your next breath, you'll slowly start to bring yourself up. You can extend the legs out in front of you. Any movement you need to rinse it out and shake it out. And then start to find your way onto your back. Set yourself up near something that you can bring your legs onto. So that can be a couch or even like a table can be a wall if you're near a wall. And then as you come onto your back, when you first get there, you can just hug your knees into your chest. I'm going to actually have you go right ahead and slide your legs up something. So again, whether it's the wall, if you need to scoot a little bit closer,
closer for a table. It's okay if the knees are bent. Like if I use my coffee table here, this is perfect. I just want to find a place where I can let my upper body totally release into the ground. And then also where my feet are up high so that I can start to feel like I'm reversing that blood flow from the day. And this is like the perfect pose to take before bedtime. So as you just allow your body to release into this legs up the wall or wall equivalent, allow the breath to soften. Just allow the edges of your body to completely and totally melt.
slowly starting to bring some awareness back into the space. Bringing some awareness back into the body, wiggling the toes and the fingers. Nice and slowly, just start to lower the legs down the wall or off of the couch or the chair. And rolling on to your side. So you're taking all of the weight up off of the spine. Pausing there for a moment. And then using the strength of your arms, beginning to press yourself up, coming into a comfortable seat and keeping the focus inside. Gently bring in your hands to your heart center. Gently bow your head. Thank yourself for making it to your mat today, for your practice, for your energy, for your breath, and most importantly, for yourself. Namaste. Hi, everyone. This is Z from Yonkers Public Library. Thanks so much to Sally Pinto and Alexis from Nork. Thank you to our community partners. WJCS, the City of Yonkers Office for the Aging, Friends of Crestwood Library, and Yonkers Public Library for making this phenomenal partnership. And we thank each and every one of you for being part of our wellness community. Be well, stay well. <laughs>